Humans affect regional and global environments through agriculture, development and industry in ways that have an impact on the quality of Earth's natural resources, including soil, water and the atmosphere. Sustainable development provides for human needs while preserving the ecosystems that produce natural resources. Monoculture is a farming strategy of planting a single highly productive crop year after year. A renewable resource is a resource that can be produced or replaced by healthy ecosystem functions. A non-renewable resource is a resource that cannot be replenished by natural processes within a reasonable amount of time. Healthy soil supports both agriculture and forestry, and it is possible to minimize soil erosion by the management of these last two. The primary sources of water pollution are industrial and agricultural chemicals, residential sewage, and non-point sources. Common forms of air pollution include smog, acid rain, greenhouse gases, and particulates. Desertification is when land productivity is lowered by overfarming, overgrazing, seasonal drought, and climate change. Deforestation refers to the destruction of forests. A pollutant is a harmful material that can enter the biosphere through the land, air, or water. Biological magnification is increasing concentration of a harmful substance in organisms at higher trophic levels in a food chain or food web. Smog and acid rain are common forms of air pollution. Smog is a grey-brown haze of a chemical elements, while acid rain is rain containing nitric and sulfuric acid. Biodiversity's benefits to society include contributions to medicine and agriculture and the provision of ecosystem goods and services. Humans reduce biodiversity by altering habitats, hunting, introducing invasive species, releasing pollution into food webs, and contributing to climate change. To conserve biodiversity, we must protect individual species preserve habitats and ecosystems, and make certain that human neighbors or protected areas benefit from participating in conservation efforts. Biodiversity is the child of all genetically based variations in all organisms in the biosphere. Ecosystem diversity refers to a variety of habitats, communities, and ecological processes in the biosphere. Species diversity is the number of different species in the biosphere or in a particular area. Genetic diversity can refer to the sum of all different forms of genetic information carried by a particular species or by all organisms on Earth. Habitat fragmentation is the process by which development splits ecosystems into pieces. An ecological hotspot is the place where significant number of species and habitats are in immediate danger of extinction. According to one dataset, the average American has an ecological footprint over four times larger than the global average. By recognizing a problem in the environment, researching that problem to determine its cause, and then using scientific understanding to change our behavior, we can have a positive impact on the global environment. An ecological footprint describes the total area of functioning land and water ecosystems needed both to provide the resources an individual or population uses and to absorb and make harmless the wastes that individual or population generates. The ozone layer is located between 20 and 50 kilometers above Earth's surface, and it's a relatively high concentration of ozone in the atmosphere. Aquaculture is the raising of aquatic organisms for human consumption. Global warming is increasing the average temperatures on Earth, 